building. Hey, Shade 4-5. Street Sweeper Radio. Multitasking right now. You understand what I'm saying? Another week, we back. And we got a special guest in the building right now. From the beginning of hip-hop, he was there representing with us in the hoods. To me, personally, did the best documentary on hip-hop. My personal opinion, ever, titled Star Wars. I was like 16 years old in there, and a lot of other notable individuals. We got Henry Chalfont in the building. What's up, Henry? How are you, man? It's good to see you. Man, always an honor to see you, you know? Yeah. So, um, you don't come through unless there's something big going on. Uh, yeah. And I know you got something big going on. It's happening, yeah. Next week. Yeah, we were up there today working on it. Okay, let's tell the people about it. Okay, well, um, I I got a retrospective show of my work covering just about everything from the trains to my pictures of, of, you know, basically the hip-hop documentary pictures that I did of, uh, you know, DJs, jams in in basically in the Bronx and also in East Harlem with my man here. Mm-hmm. with K. Slay back in the day when he was 16 years old and pictures of, um, you know, B-Boys, Rocksteady. Uh, we, back in 1981, we did a number of things together yeah. right back at the beginning of the of the breaking, happening, the craze that took place. Um, basically, those photos, the trains are going to be there, hundreds of photos. Uh, some of them are life-size. Mm-hmm. You know, we we, we it, the show comes from actually comes from Madrid, Spain last year. Uh, a street artist named Suso Thirty Three designed it, and the municipality of Fuenlabrada um, supported it. And you know, kind of unlike here, you get a lot of support from from the state over there. Yeah, and they and they put a whole lot into it, and so they created this very big show. The trains they produced over there were bigger than life size. Yeah, I they seen it. They towered over you. Yeah, it was you amazing. Know, I seen they it. They don't fit in the Bronx <laughs> Museum, so we got life-size trains life-size there. Size. But boy, it looks great. All right, and when is the show going? And the down? show is on the 25th of um, September. It opens, and it's going to be up for six months. It closes on March 8th, so it's so up for a good long time. And being at the it? museum, it's a uh, you know free admission to the museum. It's mm. open to the public, and I'm totally happy about that. You know, we've what we started in New York, what you guys started in New York, is spread around the world. And for me, it's important to bring it back home. And exactly. that's what that's what we're doing now. So that's next Wednesday, y'all. Bronx Museum. I'm going to be there, too. Yep. I'm going to be the DJ. Yep. On the ones and twos. So make sure y'all come out and experience hip-hop. You know what I'm saying? It's purest form from day one, the transition, everything, to where it's at now. And, like... I tell people all the time, it was real awkward. Like, I come from the hood. I come from East River Projects. And um, <laughs> Henry would come and be in the middle of the project, taking pictures. I mean, he'd come to the train yards when we did pieces. Like, he'd be everywhere. And, you know, and when I sit back and I think about it now, I'm like, oh, man, like, what the fuck? Like, you know, like, like you was fearless. Like, you didn't care. You like It's almost like... You had a vision that we didn't even have because when we back then it, it wasn't about money, mm-hmm. it was just about a part of the culture. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Hip hop yeah. is a culture. Culture is the way of life. Because like one day we wanted to put on T-shirts and break dance, or so the next day we wanted to pull out the equipment and DJ in the park, and the next day we might have wanted to go to the train yard and paint, mm-hmm. or the next day we might have wanted to go to Bronx River to get yeah. knowledge of self. Like you understand? It was, yeah, it was always, all happening. It yeah. was all happening. Yeah. You know? So it was just like something yeah. we was just doing. Nobody knew. Years later, it would become a, a multi-billion-dollar yeah. industry. Didn't like really, it is. didn't really think a lot about money back then. Yeah, it wasn't we just about. Just did it. It was fun for the fun of it. Yeah. yeah. So just to know that you came through, just showing us love and taking pictures, and you know what I'm saying, acknowledging the culture, man. I just want to thank you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you. It's... You know, because what's crazy is one of the most uh, recognized pictures of someone DJing on the internet. Yeah, it's my picture. It's me. Yeah. People don't know right. it's me because I'm mm-hmm. skinny and I'm like, uh-huh. but that yeah, picture yeah. is That's everywhere. You. Yeah, when you hit, if you uh-huh. hit Cool Herc name, that picture will still pop up. Yeah, 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. In the feed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, um, yeah, it's one of my good pictures. Yeah, exactly. That picture's <laughs> everywhere. But I definitely want to thank yeah. you for help uh, well, solidify was, my, you know, you know, my... My gratitude goes out to the community because you guys made it happen. Yeah. I would have had nothing to take pictures of without yeah. what went on there. Eight today, shape four five street people yeah. radio. So let's hit them with a classic. You got a classic over there, Torch. Let's hit them with a classic. You know what I'm saying? Eight today, shape four five street people radio. DJ K Slay, Drama King is in the building. We got Henry Chalfont in the building. Um, and outside of this sh- great show you got going on, um, Star Wars yeah. also had Subway Art. You right. Know what I'm saying? That was definitely a, a bestseller. Has yeah, it definitely was. Till today. And a uh, combination of m- my photos and Martha Cooper's photos. Exactly. Yeah, it was a good combination. And then y'all did a, a bigger one. Yeah, we did um, the 25th anniversary. Yeah. It was, was huge. Mm-hmm. It, made it, it made it hard to steal because, you know, the other one had a reputation <laughs> for being not, if not staying on the shelves. Yeah, I mean, yeah. mine disappeared out my crib a couple of times before. Yeah. So I still got one copy left. There you was know? a... There was an article in 1987 in the London Times which said that spray can art was the second most stolen book in the city after subway art. <laughs> but, the, but the crazy thing about it was that you got to look who it was. It was a book about vandals. Yeah. So, yeah. of course, of course, 90% of the people wasn't trying to pay for it if they right. didn't have to. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So people was going to support it, but most people went and stole it. Yeah, you know? it was part of the culture. Yeah, all it, part it of the culture. It, didn't, it, it wasn't bad for us. It yeah. got the book around, and, you know, the publisher got paid once it was in the stores, whether the book stayed there or not. So it didn't hurt anybody. And it's still selling. It's, yeah, well, they had the, they they discontinued that one finally about two years ago, and they brought out another one, soft cover, mm-hmm. smaller but similar with the photos to the one, the big one. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. All right. Without a lot of explanation, they took out things like the glossary and just put in photos. They figured everybody knew that the glossary had changed, or mm. um, you know, in the how-to section, they didn't need any more because everybody knew how by then. Oh, so I'm know, definitely so. gonna hide the one I got. There. That's <laughs> yeah. classic. It is. There's yeah. No more. It, no it, more. Yeah, I'm definitely hiding that yeah. one. So don't forget, next Wednesday is going down at the Bronx Museum. Yeah, right? that's right. And, um, and uh, what's yeah. the name of the show? It's called Art, Art versus Transit. Mm. And it comes from a car which was painted by... A lot of fire. Well, no, a rock, rock and CIA. By, yeah. by Kaz and, and Shy. Remember Shy? Yeah, right? Shy 147. Yeah, yeah R.I.P. Willie. Yeah, they were. Yeah, Willie. Yeah. 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 So that was the inspiration for it. That exactly. was supposed to be the title. That was supposed to be the title of... Martha and I chose it for the title of the subway art. But when we got to the publisher, the publisher said, no, nah, nobody's going to know what that means. you got to just say what it is. And that's why it ended up with subway art. Art versus transit. I yeah. mean, we yeah, we would have known yeah. in the states. You know, we you know, would have known, but yeah, you know, but around, around the world, around would the world, like, it would have nah, been a little different. Yeah. All right, cars two hundred seven. I haven't heard his name in a long time. Right, right. Okay. Yeah. Eight today, shape four five street sweeper radio. Don't forget next Wednesday. It's free. Stop through there. It's gonna be dope. I'm gonna be DJing, of course. I'm gonna be playing classics. Don't ask to hear no new shit, or you getting kicked out by me. You know what I'm saying? You gonna hear classic music. Classic from that era. You understand? Right. Classic. You want to shout anything else out, Henry? Well, I got to shout out to all the people at the Bronx Museum that are helping put this up. And the people from the Firestone Gallery mm-hmm. who are hooking it up really beautifully. Eric um, Firestone? Yeah, Eric okay. Firestone. And, you know, they're producing it along with uh, a number of, a couple of organizations and a lot of private donors that helped produce this. But it's... It's going to be beautiful. It's going down. Yeah. 888 Shape 405 Street Sweeper Radio. Check my Instagram at D E Z T F A, my art Instagram, and you can see the, uh, you know, me talking about the situation. And you also catch this interview on my YouTube page tomorrow. You understand? And Henry, definitely want to thank you for coming through, man. It's always an honor. Thank you, K Slay. Always. He's called me K Slay. Word up. That's fair. I didn't, he never did that before. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I, I'm with that. You're good with that, right? Yeah, I'm good with that. Hit the warning, Torch. Warning, 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 warning. The Drama King is in the building. The Drama King is in the building.